Mark, we've got you here at MCM Expo. It's great to have you here. We wanted to talk about Mass Effect. What have been the most memorable moments for you? Uh, well, the entire trilogy has been filled with memorable moments. Uh, from the perspective of an actor uh, doing it, I guess it would be getting a chance to you know, meet Martin Sheen, that sort of thing, getting to meet Seth Green. Uh, I'd have to say also just the, the response from the fans, getting to go to conventions and meet fans. Uh, I still remember the first time that I saw someone walk past me dressed as Commander Shepard, and that's when I knew, yes, this is something special. Now, what about favorite death scenes as well? Because there's some great ones in there, aren't there? Which ones are particularly stand out for you? Uh, I'd have to say probably Anderson's death scene, uh, just uh, that that scene in Mass Effect 3. That, that was uh, very emotional to record, actually. It was, it was a great scene, and it was a real honor to get to do it with Keith David. What about favorite lines as well? Because he can be a little bit of a jerk, can't he, Shepard? He's had true. some good of those lines as well. Yeah, I'd say, oh, you know, all those renegade interrupt lines and, uh, you know, things like, uh, I've got, you know, what was it? I'll relinquish one bullet. Where do you want it? <laughs> things like that. Uh, and, of course, you know, Shepard's catchphrase, I should go. Exactly. We don't want you to go yet, so we want to ask some more questions. Of course, <laughs> I'll say that at the end again. <laughs> I would love that. And what about favorite romances in the series as well? Uh, well, I mean, they were all great romances. When I played, uh, let's see, my Paragon in the first game romanced Liara, uh, and then Tali in the second game, and my Renegade romanced Ash and then Miranda. So I did not show a lot of fidelity. I'm sorry. No, he's quite a ladies' man. Yes, yes. Yeah. Or, or a man's man, or a man's de man. depending. Well, yeah. exactly. Well, he's playing the game. Now, we spoke to Ali Hillis when she was here last year. Um, what was it like voicing those scenes with actors like Ali and Kimberly as well? Uh, it was amazing, actually. You know, uh, we, of course, did not actually get to voice them in the same room. Uh, we had a large cast in uh, many, you know, about three different countries, so it was hard to coordinate schedules. However, we use a system called VEDA, where you have the other actors' performance in your headsets as you're recording your lines. So uh, that helps. Then you're not acting into a vacuum. So, uh, so yeah, it was, uh, it was fun to do those Excellent. scenes. And you said that you like to choose the Renegade playthrough first and then redeem yourself with the Paragon playthrough. But which of them is your favorite? And have you finished the playthroughs for three yet? I've not done my full playthroughs for three just because I've been so busy. And of course, there isn't the added impetus of like, well, I've got to finish this playthrough before we start recording the next game. Uh, so I've got a little more breathing room. Uh, and so I've, I've uh, procrastinated on my, on my playthroughs there. Uh, I, you know, I try to not play favorites on Renegade or Paragon, but I do have a weakness for the Renegade interrupts. You know, I'll tend to use them even when I'm playing Paragon, because who doesn't want to throw someone out a window? <laughs> so long as you don't do it in real life, we don't mind. Oh, yes, yeah, no. I, no defenestration in, in real life, no. Now, have you heard the Commander Shepard song on YouTube? I certainly have, yeah, the Miracle of Soundwin. Yes, yes, I have. And what do you think of it? Oh, I love it. I love it. I, I, I love all this sort of uh, fan stuff that's sprung up around Mass Effect, the fan art, uh, the fan films. Uh, I'm even in one, actually. Uh, Red Sand, which was uh, produced by the uh, University of Advancing Technology in Arizona. And it was a class project for uh, the students in their uh, digital video program. Uh, so they flew me down there, and uh, I, I spent about three days. And, uh, yeah, it was a, the kids did a great job on it. I'm, I was really pleased with the way it turned out. How cool. Yeah, How cool. I, I don't actually play Commander Shepard in that. I, it's set 40 years before the first game. Uh, so it's a bit of a prequel and deals with the discovery of the Prothean technology on Mars. And I play a character from the books, actually, uh, John Grissom. I like it. A nice change-up, definitely. Yeah. Now, what do you think we might expect to see in the Mass Effect universe in the future? Well, really, they could go anywhere. Uh, I've been speaking about it before, that it's such a fully realized fictional universe uh, that you know, there's infinite possibilities. You could go ahead in time. You could go back. You could see uh, the first contact war with the humans and the Turians. Uh, it, there's really, the sky's the limit. Uh, if I did know which direction they were going, I couldn't tell you. But as a fan, I can speculate. So. Yeah, absolutely. And we like that as well. We like to know where you might like it to go too. Now, what about this Mass Effect movie? That's what we all want to know about. Uh, yeah, well, you know what I know. You know what I know. I'm, I'm hoping I'll, I'll get to do a little cameo as a Salarian or something. That's, that's, I, I don't think I play Commander Shepard. I'm more slim like Hilarion. Who would you like to see in that role, then, if you could choose anybody? Uh, well, you know, I'm uh, I'm friends with Nathan Fillion, so I tend to recommend him for these sort of roles. I think I think that he would, you know, fans would love to see him in that role. Uh, also, his uh, Serenity and Firefly castmate Adam Baldwin would be a good choice. Yeah, he's got the look. So. Yeah. I'm liking both those choices. I'd like to see that go ahead. And what about director as well? Any thoughts for that? Ah, oh, would be interesting. 
Uh, James Gunn might be an interesting uh, choice, actually. And I know uh, that uh, Nathan's worked with him, of course, on Slither. Uh, I've enjoyed all his films, Super as well. And, and, I run, and you know, he is actually doing a space film coming up uh, because I think he's going to be doing Guardians of the Galaxy, actually. How do you keep your voice consistent when you're doing voice acting for something like Mass Effect? Uh, well, one thing is that they, uh, they tend to limit sessions to about four hours so that our voice doesn't get too tired, so that you can sound the same at the beginning of the session as at the end. We also tended to save uh, sort of strenuous scenes for the end of the session uh, and particularly in my case uh, uh, we do all the Vorcha and uh, the alien voices at the end of, uh, of a given session so uh, Shepard was always sort of kept as fresh as possible. Cool. And have you got anything you'd like to say to fans out there who are watching this interview with you? I should go. <laughs> well we're sorry to hear that but we've loved speaking to you thanks so much Mark. Thank you very much thanks for having me.